Hello my friends, if you like my work please remember to click thumb up, subscribe to my channel or hit the notification bell to be informed about new videos. I'd just like to say thank you to all my patrons, please join them if you can, the link is in the description below. In the previous episode I said that now I would like to do weathering but it turned out completely different and I took care of the base. So in today's episode I'm going to show you how I built a base for Opel using the Dio dump kit, some balsa planks and extras for a few euros to enhance the look of the whole project. If you are interested in a quick review of this kit and others from Dio dump, check out the link in the description. In addition to this stand I also show other sets of this manufacturer. Highly recommend it. From the very beginning I was able to make a fairly high base using the 10 cm boards I just mentioned. Of course you need to make a suitable construction for them so that they stick well to the plaster base. And that's exactly the process you are seeing right now. I used PVA glue to keep the whole thing together and CA glue for a quick connection of individual elements. Balsa has a thickness of 2 mm. As you will see in a moment I tried to use as much of this material as possible using almost all the pieces to strengthen the structure inside the box. It doesn't look particularly elegant but it does the job and everything is holding up as I wanted it to be. In addition I used a few pieces of foam for the bottom to have a good base for gluing the cardboard cover cut out from the model box. As you can see I used everything I can. Of course additionally 4 soft pads so that the whole thing slides smoothly over the surface. Ok guys, now a bit of self advertising. Traditionally and as I said in the beginning I would like to thank again to all my current patrons. You are great guys. And you can also be one of them. It's very easy because now there is a chance to enter this superb group without pay a penny for 7 days free trial. This way you can check whether you like what I publish for my patrons or not. From technical side you need to join for free by filling all gaps patron wants and then you can surf on my page with no limits, watch and download all superb high resolution pictures, watch progress shots, check stories with unpublished in other medias models, read the articles and enjoy other benefits. But about the seventh day you need to decide if you stay with me or go back home. It would be superb if you join this group. Your support is highly appreciated and helps me what I do here at Coldemons PL and what I love the most. Thanks to this I will try to give you some interesting content to keep you informed and entertained. Thank you very much.
I mentioned before about accessories for the stand and here we have them. The first is the Opel Blitz badge exactly like the one on the radiator grill. And the second is the symbol of the Africa Corps as a resin element that requires only minor cleaning. Both will be glued to the sides of the base and pre-painted black. I explain why I painted them right away. The answer is very simple. It's easier to reach all the nooks and cranes of both of these elements with paint and there are quite a lot of them done when painting with spray paint. Just because. Assembly of the column elements was based on drilling holes for a piece of toothpick and gluing both pieces to the base. No big deal, simple job, but necessary because gluing these elements with glue alone may not be entirely safe. And yes, I'm sure that even if the joint comes loose, and it may happen if you glue the gypsum elements with PVA glue, the wooden pegs will hold everything in place. I painted the plaster surface with black AK primer and the wood with black spray paint. It wasn't for any particular reason, I just didn't have enough black primer and use it only for this part. I started painting by masking the edges with the tape and covering the walls of the box with foil. Then I painted the entire ground with Tamiya buff paint. I applied three colors of acrylic paint diluted with acrylic doctor. They were mixing with each other using wet to wet technique. After drying with the accelerator I sprayed a thin layer of buff again and started painting the stones in a fairly light sand color. Here and there I rub the smaller stones with a dry brush. I painted the architectural elements with ivory color. Three thin brush coats were enough, although you could have airbrushed it first and it would have taken less time. But sometimes even just brushing around can give you some time to relax. I shaded the entire ground with a fairly diluted sand wash. and the construction elements with grey wash and wrapped with a dry brush with a base paint. The whole ground was dusted with pigment and it was fixed with the white spirit. If you did enjoy this video, please like it, write a comment even to say hello and subscribe my channel. If you have a moment, check out my other videos from the How to Paint, Bookshelf and Open the Box series. Instead of the clumps of grass that come with the base, I used dried sea grass, which I glued to the surface with a PVA glue. A few points will be enough after all, you must not forget that this is rather hot and dry terrain. 
After removing the masking, it turned out that the edges need to be painted because the paint flowed under the tape. I already knew that this would be necessary, but luckily it took a few minutes to fix it. The black paint perfectly covered all imperfections. Finally, the icing on the cake. A few months earlier I bought an armband from Africa Corps to stick it on the base. I've done this before when presenting German vehicles and it always worked. After cutting to the right size and gluing with double-sided tape, this element looks great and there is no doubt what is presented on the stand. In this way a simple base for the model was created. I think a smaller tank will also fit here, so if you need an easy to use product and certain effect, I recommend checking out the Dio Dump offer. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!